So I'm going to start here just by dropping some color on the tile and we'll see what happens. So I'm just directly from the bottle dropping some color and then I'm going to add some blue to that. Try to get close to the edges, maybe a little more yellow. See how nicely that blue and yellow make that pretty green. I'm going to kind of move some of this pigment to the edge of my tile because you, it's very easy to get these white edges on these tiles and I, I prefer if they're not that way. I prefer to keep them, got some pigment on them to the edges. You may still get a little separation here and there but it looks unfinished if you've got white peeking through all over. So I'm just taking my paper towel and I'm just kind of blotting some of that extra pigment off of the edges. And it, it should fill in. If you don't wait too long, um, usually fills in. Okay, I'm coming over here to my extra palette and I'm going to just drop some ink on that palette. Then I'm going to test it over here on my cardboard and make sure I don't have huge dots of color coming off of it. See how that ink is kind of pushing away what's already on there. And I kind of want to fill in some of these areas that are white. So I'm just going in with that brush and just kind of touching it onto those white areas and it will blend with the other ink that's on there. The white's kind of stark and so it might be too distracting once I get my design on there. Just bringing it in, letting it blend out. Okay. Now I'm going to take my Mini Mister with my um, blending solution in it and I'm going to just mist it really lightly. I'm going to splatter a little bit more blending solution with the brush. So and again, I bring it in here and tap it a few times. See how it, now I'm getting some bigger um, dots there with the blending solution just keep going. Want a little bit more pigment right there. So I'm just touching and just grab some of that blue and I'm just touching it to the tile in a few spots. Three primary colors. I'm using the um, sunshine yellow for the yellow, the pool for the blue, and the wild plum for the red. I know from experience that these colors go pretty nicely together. Oh, they usually do not create mud. So usually because you can always overwork um, your color and then you, you can always get mud. <laughs> so all you do is wipe it off and start over. It's, it's no big deal, especially with the tiles because it doesn't stain the tile. Um, they're very easy to wipe off. 